we're starting out with the skin for this look and I am priming using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. As per usual, this is my favorite primer and it just helps prep my skin for my foundation. So foundation I'm using is NARS, Sh not Sheer Glow, I nearly said Sheer Glow. It is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I use this because it's full coverage and just gives me that really nice flawless effect. Moving into the eyes, I'm just going to prime using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just use my finger to apply this all over the lids. I'm using Makeup Geek Mirage first off just to set the eyelids in place and just to help create a powdered base so that all our other shadows go over the top nicely. Then I'm taking Peach Smoothie which is also by Makeup Geek. Most of the shadows are Makeup Geek. And I'm just really messily buffing this into the crease and right above the crease and I'm taking it quite high up to my brow bone. Then going in with Coco Bear, I am doing the same thing, just really deepening the crease. I'm focusing this in that deepest part of the crease and you'll feel it when you're blending what I'm talking about. You just have to really feel for it. Then I'm taking this beautiful lilac -y purple shade and it's called Carnival. I'm taking this on a fluffy blending brush and I'm just really, really, really smoking that out. As you can see, I'm taking it way past the end of my brow. I wanted this to be super, super smoked out and just really like messy and kind of grungy because that's how I would imagine a gypsy to be. Then I go in with a MAC eyeshadow which is called Hepcat and I'm just pretty much packing this all over the lid. Then to deepen up that outer corner, I'm taking the shade Motown, which is a Makeup Geek shadow, and I'm just using a Sigma pencil brush just to really smudge it into the outer V um, and just blend everything in kind of thing. So just taking the same blending brush I used with the shade Carnival and making sure everything is nice and seamless. I do then take that Motown shade onto the inner corner to create sort of a halo eye. I just really liked the way this looked so I'm just packing it on right on the inner corner but leaving the um, middle of the eye blank so that we can apply a shimmery shade. I'm then taking Corrupt which is a deep matte black and I'm just taking a really, really super small little blender brush from Sigma. I'll have what it is listed down below. And I'm just kind of creating a cut crease with this. So I'm really buffing it into the outer corner and then taking it over through the crease. Then I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just taking this purple shade because it is stunning. And just packing that right onto the center of the lid. And I just love this color so much. Then I'm taking a black liner and tight lining and doing a really messy kind of thick line along my lash line and it doesn't really have to be neat. This whole look is about being messy and grungy. Um, so I'm just taking a smudger brush, the same one I used earlier and just smudging that out along my lash line. And then I did take the black into my waterline again and used the smudger brush. Then I just applied a coat of mascara. I'm just using my usual Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is my favorite. And then I popped on some false lashes. I used the Vegas Nate Shining Star Lashes. Moving back onto the face, I'm concealing underneath my eyes using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So I'm just taking that in a sort of sweeping motion under my eyes and then some just down the center of my face just to act as a nice highlight and I'm just using my damp beauty blender again to blend all of that concealer out and to conceal my little friend on my chin and some redness around my nose I'm just using the Cryoline concealer wheel and using the neutralizing red shade and then I'm going to cream contour using the Cryoline Combi Duo foundation thing. So I'm just using a little angled brush just to really buff and carve out my cheeks. And I feel like a gypsy would have like super sexy carved cheekbones for some reason. That's just how I picture her. And then I'm going to bake underneath my eyes and under my contour just using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder on my Damp Beauty Blender once again and just let that sit for a couple of minutes before dusting it all off. And I'm just using a big stipple brush to dust it off. Mm. 
Then to give my skin a nice bronzy appearance like I've been out in the sun, I'm just using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deepest on a Sigma contour brush and just going over those areas where I contoured and just adding some more bronziness to the face. And for blush, I'm using the Balm Hot Mama Blush just to give my cheeks some colour. And then I'm highlighting using Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. Back onto the eyes, I'm taking Carnival again on a blending brush and just really messily buffing this right underneath the eyes and right into the inner corner and I'm just accentuating that wing we have going on right out again. And then I'm taking Motown once again just on the smudger brush and just really really buffing this into the lash line. I wanted it to be as smoky and sultry kind of looking as possible. Then just going back into the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes palette, I'm taking the pearl shade just to highlight the inner corners and along my brow bone. Then I just applied some lower lash mascara to finish off the eyes. And then I decided she needed a bit of a dark lip, so we went with uh, Colourpop Matte Lippy Stick in the shade Nevermind and I just adore this shade and it ties in well with the purpley shade in the eyes. Then I'm taking this Revlon Eye Art in Gold Glitz. So I'm using the creamy moussey texture and I'm kind of creating sort of tears I guess. I just felt like she needed a bit of glitter glam going on. Um, if I had have done this again I would have done them a lot thinner so it's up to you how thick or thin you do them. But then I just took some LA Splash Glitter Adhesive and then the Glitter in Angel's Tip and just patted this all over and I just love, love, love the way it turned out. And then I added some white contact lenses just to make her look nice and creepy. You can skip that step if you want her to look more glam, but I liked the creepy look. So that completes this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one.